Oh, 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 she's being, she's being inseminated. She's just, she's just been, <laughs> there's literally chicken sex happening. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Road to Race. I don't know what episode this is, it might be three, it could be two, who knows. It's been a while since the last episode. I've now cut the mullet off, that's how long it's been. Today's aim is to actually get this bad boy running. So whilst things have not been filming and the world has been going to shit, um, I've been collecting parts, sourcing a few things, sourcing uh, to work with a few companies along with this project um, and the build. So yes, yeah, so I've just basically been sourcing parts, some of which I didn't really know what I needed because I couldn't get the time to come over here, but now I have. So we've ordered uh, a battery, radiator hose, coolant hose, and radiator cap. So that's pretty much all it needed, what, what we could physically see that it needed to get running. So the aim of today is to get this bad boy running. I know in the last episode, the interior was being stripped. We've put some of that back in, just like no bolts or anything, but we are gonna need to get that out because it's getting very damp and very rat pissy. We've got a flat tire, so we're gonna, move it out with the truck and then pull it inside and see what we need to do to get this bad boy running. So yeah, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you're subscribed, like this video. And uh, yeah, we've got Richard helping us again. I'm sure you all know who Richard is. Hi guys. <laughs> Please <laughs> never not got, do that. I just got to do it, haven't I? <laughs> Yes, many things that are missing. Fan spin freely though. Yeah, yeah. All of these. Belt doesn't look too bad either. No, I mean, we would. Yeah, it's, crap. Not... It's, it's crap. It's, it's, it's Yeah, no, not that bit though, but this bit looks fine. Yeah, but no, that bit's the bit that's important. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. First things first, replace the cracked air filter. As you can see, it's all rubbish. So we've had the engine running when we first you picked it up. You didn't just say air filter, did you? I meant cone thing, that. It's just a thing for the air. Richard, it's not even a problem, mate. Right? Yeah? <laughs> Which way does this go? I can't remember. You mean you that took way. it off and you didn't... It's usually got an arrow there. Arrow, bosh, that way. Yeah, that's why I did it the first time. <laughs> Doesn't sound like we've got a fuel pump to me. There's, oh. There was still coolant in it. We need a tray of trays. Uh, Do you have a tray? Somewhere I have a tray. Death by a tray, it shall be. Oh. Do you want to? Oh. Do you need to put that underneath? And I, I was trying to direct it. Oh, oh God. It's all just. Uh, oh, yeah. Fantastic. Hey, <laughs> we've got it off. Okay, so. Uh, hose thing on one of the radiator pipes which is just sorting out the second it was slightly too long wasn't it yeah. so just cut it down so we're making do because we don't have a jubilee clip big enough at the minute uh, we're making do with putting two together yeah, a little bit of cowboy, but the car is not perfect yet, and it doesn't need to be. Not perfect. Hey! That's the understatement <laughs> of the century. See if you can find... Oh, there's a plug missing off that as well. That's not going to be helping. Find the wiring for that. Ah. <laughs> that? No, uh, that's... Oh, no, that goes in. Um... <laughs> I don't know! Oh, well, it's only going to run on three cylinders. Oh, no. We're completely unrelated issue, but it is only going to run off three cylinders. 
<laughs> that should be a lead. That's, it should be about this long. Yeah, okay, <laughs> problem. That's just super. Well, look, it can run on three cylinders. That's not a problem. It's a problem moving forward because we need four, really. Yeah. But for the purpose of getting it running, getting it going, this isn't a bad shout. Okay. Do we bang it off red line? As soon or as. From coal. Yeah. That's the only way. Well, we, why are we even putting coolant in it if we're just going to sm smash it off the red line? <laughs> We've got to give it some health. I want to get the engine out and I want to strip it down. If you didn't know, Richard. Richard. Richard? I've just called you Ratchad. Ratchad. Like a ratchet. Uh, Richard um, is a very talented engine builder and rebuilder. So, not that he knows anything about BMW engines but he has a little bit. So I'd like to get this out, strip it down, give it a health check. Um, I'd like to put, I don't think cost wise, it's gonna cost a lot of money to bore out and put bigger valves in and all this bollocks. Yeah. So I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to put a cam in it regardless. Buy a crate motor. Well, from yeah, but that's five grand. Yeah, but it means that we don't have to do the work. <laughs> it does. You know, it to do the work. I don't have five grand. Maybe no. if you all subscribe, maybe I yes. should set up a GoFundMe page to build a lap, to build oh, this car. Yeah. No, it'll just be like free money. I hate the idea of that. Yeah. I might do it. <laughs> Throttle positioning sensor. Yeah, I fucking did. I did. I or did I not say throttle position sensor? Well, that's not going to be an issue because we don't need it. Well, yeah, but it's all part of the ECU talking to everything and mm. it's yeah it's a thing it's a thing i'm afraid we're down a cylinder we're down a throttle positioning sensor and we're down a probe oh, no. okay ready yeah <laughs> hang on hang on hang on right you're missing a thing on there oh it's probably going to be a breather or something Does that not just go on the back of the it uh, goes in the back of there but okay. we need a the joining piece and that pipe split as well okay it's <laughs> great uh, success more parts needed i think yes so you know when i said i was collecting parts yeah i didn't collect enough parts to get it running which is very odd because it's it's fired Okay, give it one more go, and then call it I, quits. It's not even trying, mate. Let's just call it quits. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, and that's fine. That's okay, doesn't matter. And that is a story for another time. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's fine. <laughs> well, thanks for watching us not get the car started. Probably not a lot of point posting this one, is there? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, good. This I'm going to post it anyway. Archives. No, it's going to go live. I don't care. That's going to conclude this episode of Road to Race, episode whatever it is. Disappointing episode, to say the least. However, as Richard said, we're learning. And you don't learn unless you try. And you don't try unless you learn. Yeah, okay. Well, this isn't going to work. Just, no, it's fine. So the question is, do I just buy a five grand crate engine from Australia? Yeah, probably. And then it's got throttle bodies and all sorts on it. Do I have five grand to spend? No. Should I start an OnlyFans page? Probably yes. Oh, I can help with that. I'm single. Perfect. Why didn't we think of this before? We should just start an OnlyFans page. The two single males. Wow. Well, it could be a joint OnlyFans page. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We share the profits. Oh no, I was thinking more. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. thanks yeah. for watching. Moving on. Moving on. Subscribe right. to the yes. channel. If you're not following Richard on Instagram, you should. His name is Richard Warmer on Instagram. He owns that cool thing. Should we give that a walk around? Have we ever filmed that? Let's just, hey, the episode's over. This is gonna be bonus now. So, what is this, Richard? Uh, this is my 1962 Austin Hilly Sprite okay. Mark II, uh, which is, I, I, I've lowered somewhat. <laughs> To the point where it's got no bump stops. It, with no bump stops, and earlier we nearly got beached on the driveway trying to get, <laughs> get it out. I think it was just there. <laughs> um, so what engines is this running? So this is running a standard-ish configuration, so it's, it's 
still an original A series engine. Okay. But um, it's 1275cc, bored out to about 1340. Kind of a, actually quite a mild, kind of fast road camshaft. Yeah. Uh, bit of cylinder, yeah, a bit of porting on the head, bit of, uh, I think it's got slightly bigger inlet valves. Yeah. Uh, Subtle bits. Yeah, you know, bits and bobs. Vernier timing gears on the uh, front. And an exhaust out the bonnet. And an exhaust out the bonnet. Start it up, let's hear it sound. This is the quiet pipe. Yes, this is the, the very quiet We won't one. put the loud pipe on because it is a Saturday afternoon and we don't want to upset the nature and the wildlife. Yeah, we should show you the ghetto waiter. Yeah, so the key is completely unfunctional. Yeah. Unf unfunctional? Is that a word? Y yeah, sure. Plug that in. Out of gear. It's so cool. And Rich and I have done like a couple of road trips back and forth to like car shows in it. It sits at 70 miles an hour so comfortably. That's a five speed pop, so. Yeah, so he's got a five speed box in it and stuff. And yeah. a welded diff. And a welded diff, so it does mad skids. And burnouts. And burnouts. Burnouts are on point. <laughs> Okay, well that's a little bit of extra content for you because clearly uh, my engine doesn't run and Richard's does. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm sorry this wasn't as informative and as exciting as it was meant to be. Yes. But that's the joys of trying to build a car that has been sat in a forest for about six years. So good. See you in the next episode. Take it easy. Say bye Richard. Goodbye everybody. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye everybody.